Welcome! The Exhibit Master is an electronic exhibit sticker for marking up PDF documents. In technical terms, in Acrobat, we call this a dynamic stamp because it changes dynamically. This stamp acts just like an exhibit sticker used on paper documents, only it's better because the text and graphics are highly customizable. This is also an auto incrementing stamp, meaning that the exhibit number is automatically updated each time the stamp is placed. You just specify the starting number. And you can see from the example stamp shown here that there are three different styles of exhibit number. A number, a letter, or text followed by a number. This stamp comes with three stamp designs, which we call presets. And you can create all the different design presets you need for marking up your legal exhibits. This PDF exhibit stamp is by far the most advanced and flexible electronic exhibit sticker out there. And it is also very cost effective because you get all the different stamps you may ever need in a single download. Let's take a look at the stamp parameters, which are set with this button. This dialog, despite its size, is actually quite simple. At the top of the presets, and these are the ones that come built into the exhibit master, the plaintiff is the one that's currently set. There is a section for setting the header parameters, the exhibit number, the footer, and at the bottom is the appearance section where the colors are set. Let's add a plaintiff name, a case number, and try the stamp out. On the stamp menu, you'll find the exhibit master under legal exhibit stamps, and when I place it, all the parameters defined in the dialog are shown on the stamp. I'll apply it again using the shortcut J key, which applies the previously selected stamp. You can see all the parameters are the same, except for the exhibit number, which is automatically incremented. Let's try that one more time. Let's try a different stamp design. This time, I'll select and load the defendant stamp, and we'll set the size to large to see what that looks like. Notice that the exhibit number is AA, which is using the letter style. I'll scroll down so we have a little more room to place it. Press the J key, and there, you can see it's a little bit larger. Let's apply it again, and the exhibit number has been updated to the next letter in the alphabet. Now let's create a new design preset. I'll use the existing defendant stamp as a base, but I'll change the label to deposition, the exhibit number to depo, followed by a number. I'll reduce the number of digits, remove the date from the footer, change the value text to dark green, and make this a small stamp. To make this a preset, I have to add a preset name, which we'll call Deposition, and then click on the Save button. I've just created a new preset, which of course shows up in the list of presets, and it'll be there the next time I open up Acrobat. Let's give it a try. I'll press the J key. That's what a small stamp looks like, and of course with all the parameters that we just defined. That size setting, small, medium, or large, is just a convenience for placement. These are stamps, so of course, they can be moved and resized. That is, of course, until they are flattened, which is done with this button here. When I click on it, it displays a warning dialog letting me know that it's going to flatten all of the exhibit stamps so that they can no longer be moved, resized, or edited, something you might want to do after you've applied all your exhibit stamps so that no one else can change them. I'll click yes. None of these are selectable anymore and can't be moved or resized. And that, in a nutshell, is the Exhibit Master, the most advanced electronic exhibit sticker out there. If you'd like this stamp, all you need to do is become a member at pdfscripting.com. The Exhibit Master is available to all members as well as many other tools for working on PDF documents. If you'd like this stamp, but with a different layout, we'd be happy to create a custom version for you. Thanks for watching.